The front runner in this race had been all but invisible up to this point, leading to accusations that he was dodging the media and all the difficult questions about his past. But he couldn't do it forever, and he tried to get off on the front foot by promising to deliver a Brexit that would be good for everyone. No community, no person feels left behind. And that is the way we will re the bonds of this amazing country. And in everything we do, we will seek to strengthen the union of our four nations. That invincible quartet, the awesome foursome that makes up the UK, the world's soft power superpower. But as is customary, he had to field questions. Maybe someone should have given him a crash helmet. As Foreign Secretary, you offended people at home and abroad. You have a reputation for being cavalier with vital detail. And already in this campaign, you're telling some supporters you'll do everything to avoid leaving the EU without a deal, and others that you gladly would do that. It's a simple question. If you want to be Prime Minister, can the country trust you? You brought shame on your party when you described veiled Muslim women as letterboxes and bank robbers. People who have worked closely with you do not think you're fit to be Prime Minister. You told GQ uh, some years ago now when asked whether you'd taken cocaine. Yes, I tried it at university and I remember it vividly and asked whether the drug had actually gone up your nose. You said, yes, it must have done, uh, but it didn't do much for me. Were you telling the truth then and do you regret the fact that you took a Class A drug? Of course, he prepared for all this and either diverted... Of course. Occasionally some plaster comes off the ceiling as a result of uh, a phrase I may have used or indeed... Or justified his conduct by claiming he's the sort of straight talker the public wants. But if Johnson got away with the questions about himself, there was a much greater one on which he offered very little detail, namely how to renegotiate a different and better Brexit trade deal in the very short amount of time available before the end of October. On that point, he was almost entirely vague, suggesting that in his opinion, the European Union would have what he called a symmetrical enthusiasm about reopening the talks, something the EU has said it will not do. Whatever platitudes Johnson or the other contenders come out with about renegotiating, they can't stretch time and there is such concern in Parliament at the prospects of a no-deal Brexit that the opposition parties launched the first of what could be several procedures which they hope will allow MPs to block any attempts to see it through. Johnson may be a far better communicator than Theresa May, but the task facing him is no different. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, London.